four years. It has been four years since I received this guitar. COVID had kind of shut down the world. And many people, I'm included in this, because we were kind of trapped in our homes, we figured, well, why not get something to help inspire us or add to our guitar collection. I had heard about Harley Benton guitars, heard good things about Harley Benton guitars, and I've heard some not completely good things also, but I'd heard some good things about Harley Benton guitars. So I ordered one. And one or two days after I ordered that one, I ordered this one. They were both B stock guitars, meaning they might have been demos, they might have been a return, they might have had some kind of a flaw. Uh, something that restricted them from being sold as a new guitar. I saw this one pop up in the B stock category. And so I figured, oh, why not? You know, I hadn't received my first one yet, but I'll, I'll take a chance. It looks good. I like the double cutaway body shape and things that this, these, this style guitar has. Um, I'm not a single cut kind of guy. I'm just not, it's personal preference. Um, I love the looks of these and I, I like to get my hand around the neck up higher, which a single cut doesn't do, doesn't allow me to do that as easily. You kind of have to, you know, anyway, it's not as comfortable for me. I don't play up here all that much, but it's just one of my personal little quirks that I lead me to like the double cutaway guitar. So I found this one, I bought it, and this came first. It arrived first, which shocked me, but that's okay. This is the Harley Benton CST 24, 24 frets. And on the back of it, it says Deluxe. On the Toman website where I ordered the guitar, it was the CST 24 HB for hollow body. And this isn't exactly a hollow body guitar. It's more of a semi-hollow. And the design is that it has more of a solid, it's probably three piece or more mahogany body that has been chambered out. It does have a fairly solid center block all the way through. And then it has, I believe, a mahogany, and this is mahogany, and it has a mahogany top added to it with a flame maple veneer over that. PRS is what they take some design ideas from for, the, for this particular model of Harley Benton. I love the PRS guitars, the SEs in particular, which are more affordable. But those um, PRS, SE hollow body, or hollow body two, I forget exactly what their 
known, known as. They run about $1,000, maybe a little bit more. We'll call it $1,000 back when I got this four years ago. This delivered to my door was $205. You could get five of these for the price of an SE uh, hollow body from PRS. So I took a chance and I could return them if I didn't like them. I opened the box of this and I was thrilled with the looks of it. Gorgeous, gorgeous flame top. They call this their tortoise flame. Covered humbuckers, which are the Roswell. They're an Alnico 5 pickup, humbucking pickup. Um, this was advertised as having a Jatoba fretboard, and I don't think that's correct. I'm almost positive this is the Rose Acer, which is a thermally treated maple, and I'm sure it has some dye added to it also. I'll list all the specs down in the description box below this. But let's get some playing, sound playing demos going now. was neck pickup humbucker, middle position. Bridge position. This is all using a clean Fender style amp simulation in GarageBand. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of overdrive now.
Now, I'm going to turn off the overdrive split coil. That was still the bridge position, now the middle position. neck position. Four years after receiving this guitar, it um, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. I see absolutely no reason for me to upgrade. Some people might consider these pickups to be a little muddy. If I, if I turn on um, distortion, go back to the humbucker. I'm still in the neck position. That isn't terrible to me. Excuse me, that was the middle position. Let's go let's go to the uh, the neck position now. Now to the bridge. And the bridge for that type of music is probably what I would be using most, except for maybe leads.
as I've mentioned, um, I see absolutely no reason for me to upgrade from the Harley Benton CST HB as I know it, um, or Deluxe as is marked on the back of the headstock. This is made in Vietnam. I don't care. Workmanship and everything is very, very good with one exception. That one exception is on the inside of the top, which appears to be a carved, inner carved top put on. It's a little bit rough if you put your finger in there and you feel, you can feel it's not smooth, it's rough. It's very rough. The rest of it looking inside is pretty clean. Workmanship and everything. And I've included a picture, the best I can do with what I have to work with, of the inside that kind of shows a little bit of that roughness. Um, but that's the only bad thing. You can't see it and it's, it's hard to distinguish that there's any real problem. This is an amazing guitar. A lot of people frown on this wraparound bridge. It does have an adjustable uh, piece here that adjusts. You can move it for the two strings depending to dial in intonation along with two screws on the back to angle it move it back and forth. So you can fine tune two other, uh, two other strings, not individually. I haven't found that to be a problem, quite honestly. Um, the bridge has, has been super solid, stable. I haven't had to re-intonate anything. I haven't had to readjust the neck after I got it, after I initially set it up for myself. It's been great. I do keep it cased most of the time uh, when I'm not playing it. And uh, this guitar makes it difficult for me sometimes to pick other guitars to play. It is definitely one of my favorite guitars and I've got guitars that are in the thousands of dollar range for a guitar, a custom guitar made in the US. I play this by far a lot more than that. And I would grab this over that any day because if something happens to this, it would cost me a whole lot less to replace it. Uh, if it was to get stolen, if, if it was to get severely damaged in some way, rather than a $4,000 guitar. So, in closing, the Harley Benton CST 24 HB, I have absolutely no problem in recommending all of the workmanship and everything that you can see on outside, inside the F holes without trying to touch the inside of the top. That's the only downside of this guitar or quality deficiency, shall we say, on this guitar. Everything else could not make me any happier on this guitar. It's fantastic. I like the feel of the neck, quite honestly, over the PRS. Well, I can't say that. I've never tried a PRS SE hollow body. I haven't. I believe their necks are the wide fat neck, which I do prefer on the PRS SE guitars over the wide thin. They're just, those are too narrow 
front to back for what my hand likes to do. Excuse my playing during this little demo. I don't play as often as I should and I, I really start working out and practicing and loosening up when I get ready to do my music videos. My music videos, the spotlight gets mainly shown on the Native American style flute, which is kind of the center focus of my channel. I've been playing guitar longer, but again, I don't practice daily. I pick it up maybe once a week, something like that, and, and do something. So excuse my poor playing during the demos. Um, it's, I, I'm hoping it's just enough to kind of get the point across that these are great guitars. Um, I'm using in my GarageBand DAW a very basic Fender black panel type uh, clean uh, plug-in, if you will. It is... Um, I am running through my pedal board also and that's where I added the overdrive and the distortion um, towards the end there. Um, nothing else was on. I, I wasn't using any any other effects other than what is just standard what comes automatically on that choice in my DAW. I didn't tweak anything. I didn't try to make it sound better. When, if I'm doing a music video, quite often I'll, I'll make some changes here and there. I didn't do that on this. This is just stock standard settings. So keep that in mind. You can dial in tones you want very easily. I, I am an absolute advocate of that rather than changing out pickups. Turn some knobs, turn some dials, get the sound you want that way rather than throwing more and more money at a guitar. If I wanted a Les Paul, I would buy a Les Paul. This isn't a Les Paul. I can make it sound like a Les Paul by turning some dials and things if I wanted to, but that's that wasn't my goal in buying this guitar. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the little bell down there so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. I don't do a whole lot on the guitar. As I mentioned, my focus is mainly on the Native American style flute. Quite often, in my music videos, the guitar is heavily featured as well. Um, and I have a wide range of guitars, 12 strings. I have a baby sitar, I have single coil guitars, dual humbucking guitars, things like that, all types. And I love to include the two in my music videos. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.